What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the show and today we're doing something a little bit different. I use action cameras all the time so whenever there's a new one coming out I like to keep my ear to the ground and see if I can get my hands on one. When Insta360 dropped their all new Ace Pro here my first reaction was oh okay it's a new action camera that has this flip up screen. Neat. But then Insta360 sent it out to me to try out and it came with a ton of accessories. And when I got my hands on it, I started to realize that this camera is a lot more than just your average action camera. In fact, this thing is powerful and versatile enough to actually be the only camera you need to start a YouTube channel. Okay. Now that is some seriously big talk about a little camera right here, but I do mean it. If you're starting out a YouTube channel, this is probably one of the best cameras you can buy because for the price of a normal action camera, you get a seriously versatile piece of equipment. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you do not need the $2,500 camera I'm currently talking to. To prove to you that this camera can actually do it all, instead of just sitting here reviewing it and showing you footage, I'm actually gonna make an entire video just using this guy. So let's dive on in. All right, y'all, we're in here in the office. It's chaotic as hell in here because I'm trying to finish a ton of projects, but we are gonna go do the Family Power Sports Toy Drive where we're gonna get a bunch of bikes together and we're going to ride from Family Power Sports in Spicewood over to Dell Children's downtown. But in order to participate in a toy drive, I need to go get a toy that I can strap to one of the motorcycles. I'm probably gonna take the NK because it needs more miles put on it because I need to service that motorcycle. So let's go over to Walmart and grab ourselves a toy real quick. Now one of the toughest things for just about any action camera to do is shoot at night. These things have kind of small sensors and so getting enough information is really hard and exposure is tough to manage. However, this guy's got the pure video mode which actually is really helping uh, manage the exposure and keep me well lit despite the fact that we only have one street light here and the string lights on my house. The exposure's better than I would have expected because usually GoPros and stuff, normal action cameras, they just can't hack it at night. Especially in here, in the car, where it's really dark. Uh, genuinely impressed with the image. I was really hoping they'd have the Panigale or the S1000RR. I think that would be really cool, but it's all just cars and stuff. They did have this though. It's on two wheels, I'm gonna call it. All right, morning day two. We're actually out here at Family Power Sports. Kind of a hectic morning because I had to switch over to the Grizo because the uh, 800NK doesn't really have a lot of room for bags and stuff, so had to get a bike that I could put one of my Nelson Riggs bags on and then uh, ride out. That ended up taking a lot longer, but I found out what the top speed is on the Grizo. Now that we're underway, I would like to talk a little bit about the camera here. So we'll start out with the good stuff. This thing is really easy to set up. One of the issues that I had with the One RS was because it had the fancy lens on it, it didn't have ND filters. Uh, and so now with the setup they have with Freewell, you can just get ND filters that pop right onto this thing. Uh, it's definitely one of those mods that not everybody's going to need 
but when you are trying to get better quality footage you basically have to have ND filters however uh, I said this in the Osmo review back in the day and I'm gonna mention it here these ND filters just pop on and off that's a bummer because any ND filter that just can slide on can slide off but I know they can make twist on ND filters for it so if this camera gets popular enough there might be a company in the aftermarket that makes one and that would be the first thing that I replace on this camera a nice positive though this camera does have gain control and then and most importantly negative gain control negative gain control is super important when you're rolling on the road because this is a freaking cacophony out here and it's really easy for nice high quality mics to pick up way too much information if it picks up too much information the camera clips and the audio sounds like ass the only problem is i would prefer instead of having negative six negative 12 negative 18 steps i would rather just have a slider something that allows me to pick exactly where I need it to be because sometimes negative eight is too little and sometimes it's too much. That however is definitely a super user quirk and something I wouldn't see as a negative for most people who are using this camera. One thing that's just kind of a bummer generally about this camera is its weight. Now <laughs> I understand why it's as heavy as it is it's because it's got the flip up screen it's got a lot of processing power for the ai stuff this is a this is a big package however that is a sacrifice i'm willing to make if this is the only camera i have to carry but that's enough about this camera for now let's get back to having some fun enjoying the ride and bringing these toys over to dell children's So all the toys are delivered back there, doing doing some good. A bunch of dirty, stinky bikers doing dirty, stinky biker things, and some good at the same time, which is like the entire Shade Tree Surgeon pitch, right? So with that being said, all this work was thirsty work. That means it's time for beer and a burger. And just like that, wrapping things up, beers and burgers have been achieved, and now it's time to head back, start wrapping up my thoughts on this Insta360 Ace Pro. Alrighty, I just got back and finished editing all of the footage that you just saw, and I've developed a couple of additional thoughts about this camera. However, before we dive into that, I actually wanted to walk you through how I was filming with this camera out there. So obviously, the core is the Ace Pro right here, then we have the ND filter, which just pops on. Then there's the mic adapter right here, which leads into this Comica shotgun mic. And then obviously I just have it on a little extendy selfie stick tripod dealie. So the first thing I'll note about the footage is that 
uh, at 30 frames per second, HDR is always on. And that means that the footage tends to be a little bit nuclear, a little too saturated. It goes away if you switch to 4K 60. However, there is an update coming for this camera which will allow you to disable HDR at 4K 30. That is actually a huge, huge boon and it just removes that problem just kind of sucks that I have to wait for the firmware update. You may also have noticed that in some of those clips when I was actually talking to the camera like this, it tended to jitter just a little bit. That's not really an issue with the stabilization, it's more an issue with how I was shooting. Long story short, I could make that problem go away by instead of shooting on the de-warp angle by using the full frame, the uh, action setup make that problem basically disappear. The last major complaint I have about this camera is that it doesn't have 10-bit color. Now, that's a super user quirk, a lot like what I mentioned with the ND filters earlier. Not a lot of people are gonna run into that issue unless they're trying to color match different cameras. 10-bit color makes it very, very easy for me to match this camera to just about any other camera that I use. That's really all 10-bit color is good for, though, is color grading. And if you're not really super into making absolutely color-perfect footage, then you don't need it. And I asked the folks at Insta360 why they didn't include it, and they basically said the same thing. And they also mentioned that one of the reasons why they didn't incorporate 10-bit color is because of the AI features. Now, we're going to talk about those in a second. But I would say that it can do both. It can have the AI features and the 10-bit color. Um, I, I would really like to see that on the next version of the Ace Pro. But there is so much more that this camera can do. It's got this little GPS remote, which gives you cool overlays showing your speed and your lean angle and all that fun stuff, which can definitely be fun if you're putting this on your bike and you're going to the track. It also has this AI art feature where you can basically have, say, that me passing by the F4i, I just hold the camera in my hand, do some fun stuff like that, put it through the, your image generator, and it creates some really cool AI art frames. Uh, short clips and stuff, but they can add a little bit of flair. The other thing, which is definitely a lot more useful for the average person, is the AI Highlight Assistant on here. So let's say, for example, you went on a really cool mountain ride, but you wanted to make a short, you didn't want to edit all of the footage. This thing will grab those highlights for you, knock it out in the app, and you don't have to put it into a giant editing suite like Premiere Pro. Now, I wanted to bring it back to that main point that I was making earlier in the video, that this is your one-stop shop for getting started making videos on YouTube. There is so much versatility in this camera. Any of the faults that I have with this camera are because I demand a lot from the equipment that I use. However, Despite not having the 10-bit color and stuff, I'm still going to use this camera all the time whenever I'm shooting some off-bike stuff. This can even be my entire traveling rig if I wanted it to. All I'd need to bring is my wireless mic so that I can step away from it a little bit. They would just plug right in the same way this does. There are a lot of places that I would not take the camera I'm currently talking to now. And this whole setup right here kind of solves that problem. And that's where I'm going to leave off with this video. Let me know your thoughts on the Ace Pro down below, and let me know if you enjoy these gear review videos. I know this isn't motorcycle specific, but if you'd like to see more review content that's not just motorcycles, let me know down below. And a huge shout out to Insta360 for sending me the Ace Pro right here. While you're down in the description, don't forget to check this thing out. And if you want to pick it up, you can support the channel that way, too. It is an affiliate link. And on that note, guys, I'm going to call it a day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.